Well, hello and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. This is episode 28 of the career we've been sharing on YouTube. In our last episode, we landed our mining ship on uh, Minmus and started the mine, the drilling and the mine collection process, or the ore collection process. And after that mission ended and I stopped the video, I actually looked in here and I nabbed a mission to rescue Burpont from the surface of Minmus. And in full disclosure, before I accepted this mission, I looked in the file and found out that Burpont happens to be an engineer. We need an engineer because I forgot to put an engineer on the mining ship. <laughs> and so it's nice to have an engineer that can run the refinery and one that can run the mining ship. So while we're collecting ore, because that is going to take a while, um, we're going to go ahead and do that rescue mission. And it's not going to be a perfect res rescue mission. We are actually are not going to return her to um, Kerbin right away, at least not in this episode. Uh, we need to do a crew switch before all of that will happen. So we're going to go ahead and hop out to our Minmus station here. And it's going to probably take a little bit because there's a lot of parts that it needs to load. But it'll get there. Here we go. Nope, that's the wrong one. Did I not? What are you named? That's the mining lander. I don't know why I clicked on that. All right. Well, we can fix this. We're at least in the right context. That's the one. Let's go ahead and switch to that and... We need to make that ship look differently. It's the orbital refinery. It's not a ship. It's a station. The reason it doesn't look like a station is because I use a lander can because that's the only thing that I can use in that 2.5 thing that can hold crew and actually do stuff that I need it to do. So that's why. We're going to take this. We are going to go ahead and where is rename? That should be really easy to find. It is. We're going to go ahead and call that a station. And accept. Okay, so we need to get fuel in these tanks or make sure fuel is in those tanks. So we're going to make sure that these should be, the ship 5 should be this because that's the right configuration of tanks. So we're going to go ahead and fill that up. And as you can see, that worked. This is a handy tool. That would be painful otherwise. And we're going to go ahead and undock. Oh, nope, we're not going to undock. We're going to make sure we only need, we need to have an open spot for the rescue. So let's go ahead and do a transfer crew. I don't know which one of these is. She's the pilot, so we're going to get rid of the non-pilot. We're going to transfer to here. That's going to take some slick EVA work, I think, to transfer these in the future because we're kind of full up <laughs> at this point. But that's okay. We're going to go ahead and undock. And it looks like we are still in this ship. So I'm going to move back to this ship. Yep, that's our pilot. We're going to go ahead and turn on RCS and back up. Now, unfortunately, I keep doing this to myself where I don't pay attention to the way that the ships are aiming. And so ideally, you know, when I want to do a burn, I would want to do it. And if I did it now, it would slam obviously right into that ship. So I should have turned them all around and then turned this one around again. It, it doesn't really matter too much. We just need to find the pilot and she's going to be way on the other side here anyways. So I'm going to go ahead and set as target. And right about here, we are going to start the scent maneuver so we can be kind of over the top of her position. Not quite right, but we're getting there.
Not quite, not quite. Whoops. Did I pass that, or is it just being stupid? It's just being stupid. Okay. Whoops. There we go. And the periapsis is a little bit into the ground, so we're going to have to burn forward, and that's going to screw that up a little bit. That's fine. Honestly, I think that's about as good as we're going to get it, or as good as we really need to get it. So let's do that. We only have a 12 second burn time and it's in over an hour. So let's go ahead and fast forward this. What is it doing? I don't want to set his target. I want, what in the world? Oh, also I learned how to turn on this mining stuff. It's right, well, you click on the planet and then it's right here. You click on the resource and you say ore. And it shows you where all the ore is. And then you can see where it's rich. And as you can tell, we didn't land in a real good spot. But we'll know better the next time because we'll know how to do it. But that's, that's how to do that. I promised I'd mention that in the last video. All right. Now we got to find out why in the world this won't let me sort of burn. Well, it won't let me set a burn, but I mean, it won't let me warp to the next maneuver. I don't get it. That is so weird. I guess it's just too much on target with the other vessel. Eh, whatever. We will just do it manually, I guess. And hope for the best. I'm going to do it here. It's easier to see in the dark, especially if I'm doing it manually. I guess I could have used the Kerbal Alarm Clock, too. Let's use the Kerbal Alarm Clock. I just want to make sure, where is Kerbal Alarm Clock? I just want to make sure that I get this at the right time. All right, we're going to fast forward it this way. And let it figure it out. It's not doing it very quickly. Oh, that's because I'm not doing it very quickly. <laughs> All right. All right, here we are. It should be slow. We should be back. Let's delete this. I'm going to go ahead and do a minor fast forward here until we get to about there. And then when that thing hits six, we're going to go ahead and burn at 100%. No. All right, we should be good, more or less. Well, it's not perfect, but we will. So there's the target again, and we need to just burn down more. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's going to. That's just crazy. All right. We will burn retrograde to pull that down. And I'm hoping that pushes this down as well. Eh, I don't know if it did or not. We're close. We're close enough. We can finagle our way through this for the most part. All right, so right around... Here. Yeah, it's letting me out of maneuver now, so it just must have been trying to get that other one's orbit or something. Let's 
try something like that. And hopefully, I said that's a 22 second burn. And we're pretty high in the um, in the sky at that point in time, so we should be good. No, it does not want to let me. It will not let me add a maneuver. Oh, it's got a maneuver. What am I doing? Anyways, but it won't let me like warp to it. Oh, that's weird. Okay. That is so weird. I had it there for a second. Well, maybe I didn't. Whatever. We're just going to go ahead and go at our own speed. <laughs> Probably have to restart the game. Every once in a while, weird things will happen. And restarts usually fix it. Okay. I thought I had that sped up and all of a sudden it slowed down on its own. Don't know what's going on. I'm either hitting the key funny... And I'm not while well, I'm not paying attention or something is eating this thing's launch. Not sure what. All right, here we are. We're gonna burn. That's funny. It moved so far in that process that it's not even. It's not even correct where we're aiming right at the moment. So I am going to do that, and then I'm going to go ahead and... Is this the right one? Yes. We'll burn this way a little bit. We'll kill that. And then I'm going to go ahead and... Go this way just a touch, because I would rather be slightly higher than this than having to do a bunch of stuff all at once. So I'm just going to burn that way just a little bit to grant some height. And then we're going to speed this forward until I get kind of a decent visual over the top. And then... We'll do this, our normal little trick. We should be pretty close. Whoops, went a little too far. We are. Unfortunately, I need to see this, which is hardly visible, but I can see it well enough. I need to change this. I, I was screwing with the resolution, and it reverted back, and unfortunately reverted back after I changed everything else to show the way I wanted it to. So, those say they're on, but they're not. Pretty far away, um, but not too bad. I mean, it's going to be easy walking distance. I really wish. That's what I need to see. <laughs> and it seems like when I put my uh, mouse there, you can it, it better shows against the uh, the background. A little far away, but that's, like I said, that should be walking distance, and if not, we can scoot the ship that direction if we need to. We need landing gear now, don't we? That would be helpful. All right, we're into the... under a thousand meters. 
we're going at a nice slow pace. I am not really concerned that we're going to have any trouble stopping on this. It's just just hard to see it. We're going to fix this whole thing in just a second as soon as this comes down because alright. I'd like to get that under 10. And we should make it down here pretty nicely. Nice, soft landing. Almost too soft because it's taking too long. <laughs> And we have touchdown. Well, nice little curvy thing to hop on into, but oh, why not? All right, so are we close enough to... Yes, we are. We are going to go ahead and walk over to this craft. I don't know if we even need to walk over to it. We can just rename it from here. We are going to rename this vessel as... Debris. I redesignate or designated as debris because otherwise it's just going to show up. Now the next question is: is where are we relative to? I can't see our ship. All right, let's go back to this. Okay, we are here. All right, she is up the hill and needs to come down. Okay. I just can't tell what hill. This is really weird. All right, back to the other ship. Okay, and this is on the hill that is on the opposite side of the flats. Okay, that's helpful. <laughs> oh, that's the one. Okay, is that it? Okay, that worked out. No wonder. Okay, that could have been easier. I, I just didn't realize what I was looking at. All right, we're going to turn her light on because it is dark, and I don't think there's consequences for that. And we go faster if I turn on the rockets and we fly. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We're going to go over this mountain. Or over this hill, I should say, this peak. And we're flying pretty high, and we're flying pretty fast, so. Just want to stay kind of above here, and then we'll slow down when we get here. You're more than halfway there by doing this, and if we didn't do it this way, <laughs> it would be a real long time. I think we have enough RCS fuel to pull this off, yeah. We're going... All right. It's nice when you can actually see the ship. <laughs> and, oops. 
Well, landed a little harder than I wanted to, but that's okay. We've fallen down hills before. We'll fall down hills again. <laughs> well, let me uh, do his RCS. Or her RCS. Wow. That's a tough little tumble you're taking there, lady. <laughs> oh, Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> If she'd stop, I could turn on the the, the rock, you know, the stuff again, and it just isn't happening, obviously. Oh shoot! All right. Well, this lasts much longer. I'm gonna fast forward through it, just because this is gonna be a painful thing to watch all the way down this hill. It's gonna take minutes, probably. Oh, no. Well, there you go. She can walk. That was painful, but it could have been a lot worse. I think we're going to go ahead and... Uh... <laughs> Maybe slow it down a little bit better the next time. <laughs> there we go. Turn off the RCS for the time being. I need to find where the ladder is. I think it's on the downhill side. But I don't know for sure. It's just so slow this way. I, I, I hate not using the rocket, but again, we're, we're so close to the ship at this point in time, I don't want to blow it. Nope, it's on the uphill side. All right, we are very, very close, obviously. Yeah, and while she's here, I should have had her plant a flag at that location. But I'm going to have them. I'm going to have her plant one right now that says rescue mission. Min must. Rescue, we'll just say right in minutes rescue. That's a little easier. All right. I don't remember picking that flag, but okay. I must have accidentally done so. <laughs> oh, that might be her mission. That's her mission. That's why. That's why she planted that flag. All right. We're going to grab that, bring her up into the ship. What's going on? This has always worked before. All right, this is weird. Grab. Well, that's annoying. There is something screwy with this that wasn't screwy with it before, and I don't know why this is a problem now. Um, I'll figure it out. Um, that's funny. Um, what I am trying to actually do is get up in the ship. So I'm going to turn, let go, turn on this. And for whatever reason, I need to grab the higher ladder. And then it'll work. Weird. All right. Well, we have her in the ship. So a lot of this, this particular rescue mission is taken care of. Uh, all we need to do now is to get back to the other ship and rendezvous so let's go ahead and get that taken care of we will go ahead and launch now and we are just going to go and head 90 degrees when we go we'll figure it out after that what we need to do to get to the actual orbit that we want and we're zipping across And that's a pretty good height. And we'll add a maneuver and go this way. That's very 
is strange. Getting these balanced sometimes is harder than it should be. Good enough. It doesn't have to be perfectly circularized, but I, I kind of like to have some general notion that it's sort of circularized, if I can. Burn time is only 15 seconds, so let's go ahead and fast forward to that if we could. In fact, I wonder, can I warp? I can warp the next maneuver now. I, I don't know why I couldn't before. All right. Go a little faster. We just need to get about seven seconds or eight seconds, I guess, really, of burn. Before we hit the node. That's good enough. We're there. We're going to go ahead and click on this because that's our new tar target. And we are going to find where our orbit... Well, what we need to do first is get on this ascending node and burn down. And probably burn in. <laughs> and... Uh, That's pretty close. So that should put us on a pretty close plane with... This is what I want to... That's the target. Why is it... Well, it's not very close on plane to it looking now, does it? Eh, it's higher than I want, but I don't really care because we're going to have to do an intersection anyway. So, or, yeah, interception. So, we'll do this. We have seven minutes before a ten-minute burn. Warp to next maneuver still works. And I'm going to go ahead and take that to about five seconds. Down here on the nav ball. Whoops, a little fast it. Not the end of the world. It's been miss. All right, we should be pretty good. So, we need to look. We have our closest crossing there, and our periapsis is there. So, the next thing I want to do is I want to burn down. I like to have my orbit slightly lower than the other orbit that I'm trying to intercept with, at least and only at one point. And then you have an intersect one and intersect two. And that tells you pretty much like right here in the middle is, uh, is where you want to start, or at least that's where I mess with most of my control and most of my timing of my burns and stuff like that because I have a notion where that all is. All right, this is going to be 25 minutes. Let's warp. And we're getting there. All right, we don't have very much of a burn. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this pretty quickly down to the... Uh, almost zero mark and I'm gonna just take this just with one little press so it's not gonna be the full full burn just just basically the slowest burn that I could get on that that's exactly what we have here so someplace in the middle if I put a maneuver this is what I was talking about if I put a maneuver here and I can click this this plus button and I can watch these other ones that are on my left as you see they're moving counterclockwise around and that's going to basically represent where the other ship is, right? As soon as it passes that, I know that all I need to do whoops, 
is bring my orbit down with this and try to match it up and get it pretty reasonably close. As you can see, they're, they're not perfectly aligned by any stretch of the imagination and for a lot of reasons. They're But we can kind of screw with this a little bit. Is that the way I wanted? Yeah, apparently. And we can get it pretty close, and that's close enough, right? So we'll do this. We're going to go ahead and add an alarm because that was like three days from now is when we're going to get that. We're not going to burn any fuel. It, we could have got a lot faster in Minmus and, and, and gotten it done, but... Sometimes it's sometimes it's just better to uh, get this going. That's funny. Orbital Refinery Lander. That's yeah, we should change that name when this thing stops. <laughs> and uh, well, we've got to burn at about 19 seconds, probably closer to 2021 20, if we want to really balance it. I tend to burn late by accident more than my best intentions of burning slightly early. And here we go. It's a pretty long burn when you when all things are considered. I don't know what in God's green earth is happening here. What is happening here? Okay, um, apparently this just did whatever it wanted to do. <laughs> um, we're going to go ahead and burn at 90. Um, and what? Oh, it went to target. What idiotic. Okay, I don't really know what in the world just happened and why it happened, but we're going to get back into orbit. That was weird. I have never seen that happen. It just, we were burning in the burn that it said to burn at, and it reversed the direction of the orbit. That is just bizarre. All right, well, that was three days of Kerbal time wasted, but fortunately it was only about 20 seconds of our time, well, about a minute of our time wasted, maybe a little more. We are going to zip down here, get that orbit sort of back in order. Jeez, that is nuts. And we're going to have to wait for that ridiculous burn. Wow. Wow. I have no idea what happened. I have no idea what happened. That doesn't make a bit of sense. I either did something horribly wrong or the game did something horribly wrong. Now I can't... I'm going to start blaming the game more, I think, because I'm pressing keys that they're not working. But that was, a, that was a burn. That was an obvious burn. We had the thing set up, and it was clearly not doing what we told it to do. Fortunately, I burned too far, I think. No, I didn't. We're fine. All right. We are not on the same orbital plane anymore, either. This is really weird. I either had a leftover part of that last burn in, or... and didn't notice it, or, again, I don't know what was going on. Okay. That is nuts. So we'll get that taken care of again. We're going to have to burn. I really apologize. At least we'll you get to see recovery in this stuff. And I've been playing this for a long time, and I still make a lot of mistakes. And I don't know what that mistake was, so I don't know if I'll learn from it. <laughs> but, oh, that hurt. Because we were about there. Whoop. No, that hurt because I'm an idiot. I pressed the Z, and I didn't mean to. So we're going to go ahead and quickly spin this around. Fortunately, this little science lander is pretty easy to... God, I did it again. Um, I keep meaning to hit the space bar. My finger slips and I hit the Z. <laughs> 
How not to play Kerbal Space Program. All right, there. That should be a reason reasonably close enough. Okay, this is where we are going. No. Add maneuver. And we are going to try to get these to line up again. This actually isn't too bad. It's going to be the same thing. One point two point five. I'll take that. Um hopefully this works this time. I mean it's not a long burn. So it was really weird that it was I don't know. I I did something wrong. I don't know what it was. Um we don't have that node for two hours. I'm gonna go ahead and add an alarm. We will press that button and I didn't mean to warp here. I meant to just speed it up. All right, so we're pretty close again. This will bring us immediately to that. This is, like I said, this is a great mod. Really saves time. You don't have to, you know, can warp at higher speeds, and it just slows you down. It maximizes all of that for you. And we're just going to... Oh, come on. What is going on? Now I can't burn because I don't have a I have a signal. That's right. What is going on? That was just nuts. This has not been... I had a pilot. That was weird. All right. That's close. I'm going to have to... I think I'm going to, like, when this particular one's done, before I make any more episodes, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, um, I'm going to go ahead and reboot my computer and restart this game because, man, it is being weird. Warp to next maneuver. See, it's not doing it. There is something weird going on here, and I don't know what it is. So we'll do it manually. Hopefully I will not screw this up too badly. It's just very, very strange. It's like all of a sudden stuff doesn't work and or sometimes doesn't work. All right. So we are aiming towards the target. We're going to go ahead. We are not going all that fast towards the target. So I want to find this side. We're going to burn this way for a little bit. We'll raise the speed up, but mostly I just want to... I want our prograde to be aiming right at the target. And there we are. We have a separation of 0, zero with that. So I'm going to go ahead and spin this around. We can see this thing getting closer and closer, so I'm just going to accelerate time a little bit. Really wish we weren't docking on the dark side, but apparently we are. Still going to time accelerate that a little bit. As you can see, we are burning, or we are off course a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to take it like this. And it's kind of a little bit. Um, I'm going to set that is the target because that's going to give us a better idea of where we actually are relative to him and as you can see we're a lot closer probably than we really want to be all right so we're going to control from here and that's our target we are going to aim directly at the target Easiest way in the world to dock. Easiest way in the world to dock. We're going to zip to this side. We are going to set as target and aim towards it. Wait a minute. Stop, stop, stop. 
Control from here. <laughs> All right. Aim towards the target. That's important, too. It was going to spin this whole thing around to attach me back to there because that's where I was last controlling it from. So it is important to know where your control point is and what's, what you're telling it to point towards. But, again, this is pointing directly towards it. We're going to hop back to this other ship, and we're just going to give it a little bit of... of uh, of thrusters. We're going a little bit with a little bit of speed here uh, to start off with. Whoops. Straighten that out just a little bit. And they are coming together. All right, we'll slow it down a little bit. Still looks pretty good. And we're going to be docking momentarily. And we are docked. Well, the very first thing that we need to do is we are going to go ahead and do a quick EVA of our new our new engineer and the reason we're going to do an EVA of our new engineer is because we need to get the scientists from here whoops need to get back in the ship that's why that wasn't working we need to get the, the scientists from here back into the ship so in, into the lander so we're going to go ahead and do a transfer crew if I can find the button Okay. Yeah. Well, that's odd. I could have sworn. We have like pilot, two scientists, three scientists, and a pilot. Okay, I'm either out of my mind or I'm out of my mind, but that's okay. We're going to take wherever this scientist is. Let's hope it's in here. <laughs> and do a transfer crew, and we're going to transfer to here. And then we're going to take this individual. If I can ever find her. There she is. All right. So she's going to get out and she's going to hop up into the lander can, which means she has to let go. Turn on her RCS. Go this way. Go this way. Go down. <laughs> Oops. Come on, come back. There we go. Beer in no time. Grab it. Board. Board. How are you not boarding? Board. <laughs> All right. Fantastic. All right, so we have a scientist and a pilot here. We have, we should, transfer crew, El Top and Cafrod. So... El Top, the pilot. Kafrod is the scientist. We have an engineer and two scientists here. Thought we had another pilot, but I guess I am out of my mind. So let's take a look here. This has been going for a little bit, and we have almost 45 more science. So let's go ahead and trans transmit that someplace. <laughs> transmit science. There we go. Man, I don't know why it is. It's just, for whatever reason, I'm having the hardest time uh, reading this screen with all the extra graphics that have been added into it. All right. Well, fantastic. We've added more science than we had before, and we're doing pretty well. So we have the rescued engineer, so when we start turning this on, we can turn it on right now. 
liquid fuel and it's not going to do anything we don't have any ore but as soon as we have the ore up from the mining ship we will start that process and all these tanks will start refilling uh, one thing I do want to do eventually and I'm not going to do it right now on camera because it's well it's not going to take that long is I want to go ahead and refill all of these tanks once again because Oh, we totally emptied it out. <laughs> so it's going to be important when that miner ship comes back because uh, we'll need it for more of our more of our adventures. I can also honestly take some out of here and refill our RCS as well. We didn't use very much, but everything's up, so that's good. All right. Well, please like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Please comment on this. Let me know what you think, how, what you think I'm doing, how you think I'm doing it, if you think I should do things differently, anything. I, I just want to hear from you. I want to have some feedback to make these videos a little more um, a little more popular and a little more enjoyable to watch. So, again, thank you. Have a great day. Be safe.